Africa's first AI teacher robot. I am here to help students learn and grow, not to replace your teachers. My mission is to support them and enhance your learning experience. An invention that has impressed many, from the dusty roads of Lusue to the world stage, Tando Kumede has broken the ceiling and strived against all odds. She has developed the country's first tutor robot, Iris. The aim is to assist teachers and empower students to reach their full potential. This multilingual, human-like robot has special features for all grades. She's a tutor robot, which simply means that she's assisting our teachers. Um, like I mentioned during the, 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 the launch, that um, they're going through a lot, our teachers. They, they tend to be working at school, going back home, they're still working. And then when are they getting the, you know, I mean, their time with their families? So if we're having a robot like Iris, who can actually assist with uh, marking, uh, analyzing the curriculum, the results, uh, doing mark lists for them. It's then less job for them. The Department of Science, Technology and Innovation believes AI can close educational gaps and transform classrooms across the country. This is part of the AI and the instrument that Utando has come up with, as we have seen with those three softwares that he has came up, came up with, is going to assist the educators in class is coming to enhance the teaching and learning, helping the educators with the subject matter when it comes to class, assisting the learners in explaining so many concepts. Authorities in education have emphasized the importance of rolling out technological studies in schools to prepare learners for an evolving job market. Our learners now, they need to be taught differently. They need to take a variety of subjects than the academic, vocational and technical stream. And we are also uh, rolling out the focus schools. One of them is Mandlam Tetra up in Mkanyagute. The other one is at Lamesi, which is Anton Lembete. And next year we're opening two new ones, which is the maritime school around Umlazi and the engineering and ICT technology school around Newcastle. The public and the private sector are urged to provide funding. This is to help manufacture more iris robots for schools. Nonjabulom Tunga Makamu, SABC News, Durban. And for more on this, we now speak to the inventor, Tando Kumete. Tando, good evening. Thank you so much for your time. Really do appreciate it. As an educator yourself, you would know that uh, learning and teaching is a very interactive exercise. To what extent can artificial intelligence machine learning be uh, as fully interactive with the pedagogy as is necessary in the classroom context? Okay, um, just to make sure that I respond uh, correctly. Um, with the one that I made, who is Iris, uh, she's able to interact. Uh, basically, uh, we only switch the only capacity to teach from uh, the beginning of the chapter to the end, but so that we do not, I mean, uh, what's this? So, so that our teachers do not lose their jobs, because the reason why we created our Iris um, is to assist our teachers. Um, is to make sure that it, our education is being elevated, is to make sure that our students that are actually attending two primary schools are actually getting, um, I mean, the, the, the kind of education that those who are in primary schools um, are actually getting, especially because Iris is able to help them in the homeworks, um, is actually able to help them with uh, revision. Um, let's say the teacher has taught a certain uh, chapter and a student, we understand that our teachers are the best. But at the same time, uh, as much as you can teach as a teacher, there are those students who are kind of left behind. Yeah. And then with others, we are able to then, uh, I mean, have enough time with the students whereby they can do one-on-one -on -one or group work with Iris where she elaborate more further. So that way it will increase not just our results as, I mean, as the schools, but also increase the level of knowledge uh, when it comes to our students. Already the Department of Education is trying to put uh, coding and robotics to the schools. Um, so now, and it's still new when it comes to the schools. So now we are on board. She's able to teach even coding and robotics. She's able to, basically yeah. she can do a lot of things.
<clears throat> yeah. So let's crystallize this in practice. Imagine a grade four learner who is being taught fractions for the very first time in mathematics. That learner goes home, tries to practice a few of the exercises and concepts that have been taught about fractions. Let's assume for the first time they're being taught what a numerator is, what a denominator is, what a proper fraction, an improper fraction, and perhaps a mixed fraction looks like. They struggle to grasp the concept very clearly. In what way does Iris then assist them when they come back to class the following day as an aid to the teacher? Oh, thank you so much. Um, with the level, Iris, whenever you're asking a question with her, the first question she'll ask you is that, what grade are you? That simply means that now, within a second, she taps into your grade, and then, and then if it's a mathematics, just like you, you mentioned, she taps into your grade so that she'll respond on your level, based on your level. But then after responding um, based on your level now, she'll check if you understood and ask you a question. So if then you are not able to respond, she will then figure out that, okay, this kind of uh, explanation didn't meet, I mean, the, I mean, she, he, he couldn't understand it. And then she will then take it a bit down because uh, she's got many ways of like elaborating. Um, doesn't matter if it's, um, it's math, accounting, but she, she can take it down and then try to understand if you are actually understanding. If again, because like she can explain in more than 10 ways, uh, as long as it's still uh, the same question, she'll still get the same answer, but she can elaborate even in more than 10 ways. I don't know if I'm, on, I'm yeah. answering your question correctly. How different is this from what we currently have offered from instruments like ChatGPT? I can, for instance, upload into ChatGPT a English literature textbook or English language textbook, for instance, and say, hey, please devise a teaching and learning plan uh, based on the chapters in this book and convert all of it into voice audio that I can play for a child who's learning this uh, for the very first time. And ChatGPT will be able to relatively quickly do that. And you can then ask questions. It will answer those questions back to you. Um, is, it at, is it at that level of interaction or is it a higher level of interaction? It's actually, Iris got sense of humor, so it's high level of interaction. So she, what I can say, with com compared to ChatGPT, uh, with Iris, one ChatGPT, if you you ask in Zulu, since Iris can speak in our South Af African languages, you can't get the response. So with Iris, that's number one. You are able to ask, let's say, the student. Um, you are able to ask your questions in your language. Uh, so it simply means now it's not limiting uh, our students or our people in terms of language né, to communicate or get the information. That's number one. Number two, uh, with ChatGPT, we should do, I mean, good as well. Um, our, our kids, especially those who are from rural areas, they still believe that because they still have the cell phones, but they're not using it to, to benefit right. themselves when it comes to increasing the information. Yeah. So now having something like a human, they believe that like it's a teacher in front of me who can actually give me more information. Yeah, uh, Iris is ultimately the software that underpins it all, but it comes in the form of a robotic presence, which has a hardware element to it. Um, how do you, given that context, how do you hope it to be deployed in classrooms across the country? Uh, what what is the business model here? Do you hope that are you selling a hardware, including the software? Are you selling a patented, licensed program? What is it that educators, schools, and instru uh, institutions uh, are looking to buy here? Okay, when you look at Iris, she's, she's got the kind of tablets here. So if we sell it in IRSs, uh, the plan is to then let's say we digitize in the class. It is, the school is allowed to have just one Iris with the number of tablets with our software. Because basically um, the plan is to duplicate Irises to be everywhere in South Africa. Uh, as much as Iris is in your school, that simply means that now uh, the students, we kind of change the classes to be paperless. The student can then use the tablets that we provide with our software, which then link to our IRS. So basically, uh, we are here to sell not just that, but also to make sure that it reaches the owners because I'm not the owner by so saying, I mean that I made IRS, but she's not mine to use, she's for the kids. So um, if maybe let's say the school can't afford to buy, then we also urge the stakeholders that normally support the schools to yeah. make sure that IRIS get to the schools.
Yeah, Tando, thank you so much uh, for your time this evening and all the best uh, going forward in uh, getting Iris into classrooms across the country. Really do appreciate it. Tando Kumete, the inventor of Iris, a AI robot tutor teaching assistant.